I'm going to show you how very quickly how to set up MMS and internet on the Nokia Lumia 900 from AT&T to work on T-Mobile. The first thing that you need to know is that you need to do a hard reset on the phone, erase everything, because every time you change a SIM card, this setting will be deleted and the MMS will not work. This is what I found out after many tries. T-Mobile will send you to the uh, settings, cellular, and then add APN. You don't need to do that. What you need to do is go to the market. You download an app called Network Setup, which I already have it. It's a Nokia app called Network Setup. Uh, I'm not going to add it again because it messes up everything, but the app is right here. It'll detect your network settings. If that doesn't work, what I had to do, I went into the plus sign and I added an APN and I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. So I'm going to touch on this. I'm going to hit. Okay. I called it T-Mobile LTE access point fast.t-mobile.com. Make sure that you put the dash or it won't work. Nothing else is filled out. And then under MMS APN, you put in fast.t-mobile.com. Nothing else. Tech support was telling me to fill out all this stuff. Proxy port 8080, proxy address 165 dot whatever, whatever. You don't need to do that. Okay. Once you do that, you save it and you make sure that that's the one that's highlighted in blue. Okay. So it works. I'm going to send myself a, a message so you can see. The internet works perfect. The problem was the text messaging with uh, with MMS. So I'm going to take a picture of this and send it to myself. Accept and send. Okay. You'll see it in a minute. Now the internet works, as I mentioned, with no problem, especially now that there's LTE in my area. And uh, it's actually pretty fast. Before it wasn't as fast because not every, they had revamped the 1900 megahertz and that it wasn't available everywhere. But right now with the LTE, they have the same bands as uh, AT&T. I pulled down about seven to 10 megabytes per second. It's not the greatest, but it's okay. Um, it's more than enough what I need. Especially if you have this phone and it's unlocked and you want to use it on their network. I don't know why it's a little slow now, but I'm not going to show you that. Um, I'm waiting on that message. It takes a little bit of time, but it should be coming through any minute. But meanwhile, I'll be showing you how I send myself another message. There's a message that I sent earlier and it worked. So again, the main thing to know is the network setup app and to make sure before you do anything, reset the phone, put the SIM card inside and then download the network setup app and do what I showed you here. Okay. I don't want to take much time, so I'm not going to wait for that message, but it, it, I know it works because I've tested it before. And if you do switch SIM cards, it's not going to work. You'll have to hard reset the phone and do the whole process again. So if, if you go around and switch SIM cards because you're out of the country, then you may run into a problem. You may have to have a reset phone and use this as a backup.